Tekken 6 is the newest in the Tekken series. Now it is pretty fast and free flowing and it truly does feel like an actual sequel. Basically you play as all of the Tekken characters that you've pre seen in the previous titles as well as a few new ones, obviously. Now, one little feature that I seem to love is the scenario campaign, where basically you select where you're playing as Lars and Ayana, which is an AI character. Now basically you run around with the two characters running through these action adventure style mode. The fits of your characters actually does affect your statistics, so that means you pick up weapons and all that other interesting stuff. Now it does play pretty well. Now, the character customization actually does play heavily in that mode, where basically every little tweak of customization in the outs. Now mind you are able to customize all the other characters as well, but that is mostly just for the fact that you can customize their costumes. Now, if you select any one of the other characters in the scenario campaign, they will basically just act as a character skin for Lars. But despite that, the story mode still plays out the same way, no matter who you're playing as. They will just act as if they are the skin of Lars, except for Ayana, obviously, because when you're playing with Lars and Ayana, basically, Ayana will be Ayana and Lars will just follow you around. But still, to say the least, is pretty well done. Now, other than that, there is one little problem that I have to say that seems to be very apparent to map mode, and it seems to be the camera angle it seems to be a little lacking at some points in the game. But other than that, a little bit of a problem, and maybe the fact that you can't really run once you've locked onto a target, the game still plays pretty well in the scenario campaign mode. Now, let's move on to the next game mode, multiplayer. Now, the multiplayer is a lot better than it was in previous installments. Now, it is pretty decent, also the online multiplayer is very, very fast and fluent, just like its single player offline counterpart. And unlike most other fighting games, it just seems to run really damn well online. Plus there's a ghost mode where you can download ghosts of people that you previously fought online and fight them offline. Which is a very nice little featurette as well. You can also record your gameplay footage and post it up on the online um, leaderboard thing where basically other people can view your replay data and be like, oh my god, this guy pulls off this massive combo, or, holy crap, did that guy just beat that character that easily? A set on that difficulty level? And it works out pretty well. And basically, all, all the extra featurettes and all that stuff is just really nice. The one little thing I also love that they did really well in this game is in the actual arenas. Where basically, if you fight hard enough, you can break through walls and floors. As well as other parts of the arena. Hell, if there's an animal that walks around and actually runs by you while you're in the middle of a battle, they'll go they'll be sent flying off the map. Which is quite entertaining, to say the least. There is, of course, another mode. There is the um, Scenario Arcade mode, where basically you'd select one of the other characters that wasn't featured in the Scenario mode. Such as... Um, Jin, uh, basically you can be able to play as him and go through his story mode. If you have an opening cutscene at the beginning and then at the very end you get another little cutscene. Now basically that would fill you in like basically what they were doing during the, um, the main story where you're featuring Lars. Now this is basically just supposed to be around the Iron Fist tournament that happens during the games. The graphical styling of this game is also quite impressive in my opinions. I mean, just the fact that you can break apart the environments, like I've mentioned before, and the fact that you can view the environments, they look so realistic, like, in comparison to most other fighting games, where they basically poorly render the environment and just focus more on the characters. This one, I think, I think they took about just as much time to focus on the characters as they did the environments, and I truly, truly, truly love that. The musical soundtrack is also very stellar. It is great, and I just love the soundtrack that they featured in the game as well. Now, it's nothing quite as great as most other soundtracks that have been featured in other fighting games, but it is damn good, and it keeps the motion of the movement going, pretty much in my opinion. It stays up in the beat to, um, well, figure out going around you, so... Hell, pretty decent to say the least. Now, one feature that I did like about this is 
fact you can actually import your own music if you're not fond of any of the music on any of one of the levels that have been in the game, or if you just want to listen to your own music, it's just been hell of it. That's one little thing I like about it. Now, not a lot of PS3 games actually do that. That's one thing I actually like about this game. The Xbox 360 version, it's still pretty good, nonetheless. Both versions are very good, and if you have either one of the two systems or both, pick up a copy of the game. It's a damn good game on both consoles, it plays very good. The online mode is just above par for most fighting games, and it's definitely worth its weight in gold. And even if you haven't played the previous Tekken games, there is a little uh, cinematic thing that actually te takes you up to speed. So, definitely worth it. So, I give Tekken a 9 out of 10. Until next time, alright, sign up. Ah! Ah! Ah!